You might think that the argument from design or natural theology uh, as a whole would buckle under the weight of the sort of attacks you get from Hume, Darwin and Morpheus. But in fact, natural theology comes back with a vengeance in William Paley's Principles of Natural Theology of 1802. And what Paley does in, in a way that's much more sophisticated than those people who had written in, in the same vein before is he shows in detail that elements of creation are designed. That is, he shows that structure and function in animals and plants are so intricately linked to each other that they could not possibly have arisen by chance. They must have been already placed in this form at the beginning of time. If they'd arisen by chance, uh, there would have been various periods where, for example, uh, an eye didn't exist, or there would have been periods when uh, an eye wasn't being used for the purposes that we use it today. But in fact, when we look at animals and uh, human beings, every particular part of their bodies fulfills the function for which it's clearly designed. And what Paley does is, is show how this gigantic order works in, in a beautiful manner. He also looks at the way in which various kinds of animals uh, exist side by side with each other. And he, he puts a much more positive spin uh, than David Hume does when Hume looks at the, the amount of violence and bad behaviour that exists in, in the animal kingdom. Paley turns attention back towards the, the sort of magnificent grandeur of the natural world. Uh, the way in which uh, creatures are able to uh, exist in their habitats and to gather their food in, in a way that's related to the kinds of appendages that they have. They don't have unnecessary appendages. Everything for William Paley is just right. Natural theology shows that there is a God and that this God is truly benevolent.